All right, all right, all right. Looks like we have an actual, actual, actual response. Kevin Hart encouraged people to do their research and says it's all entertainment. While talking about Cat Williams, because y'all know Cat Williams had a lot to say about Kevin Hart. So let's get straight into it. In my opinion, there's nobody on the planet who promotes films the way you do. You are, there's something about your work ethic and the way you promote films. It, you all right, stop me, Goblin. Even to a point where you'll tweet out a response, like to the Cat Williams situation, while promoting mm -hmm. your movie. Oh, 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 yes. A brilliant way to do it. You could have also responded with a Mark Twain link because you're getting the Mark Twain prize here in March. But I just wanted to get your perspective on that. You, I feel like you always respond positively yeah. to negative situations. And I wonder, you're just your perspective on that and kind of, you know I know your grind. I've been interviewing you for years, Kevin. Mm -hmm. I know you work really hard. All right, all right. Stop the me, Goblin. Come hard, but what's your Stop the me, Goblin. Perspective on that and your response to that situation. Uh, I said it, and this this sums it up well. Like you don't you don't entertain uh, the ear. You don't look too confident. Anybody that know body language, ah, uh, the ear, the not the direct contact, not looking in the person's eyes. Well, in the person camera, you know, looking to the side, ah. Uh, Look like a little nervous. Ain't nothing wrong with your ear. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with your ear doing this whole interview. But right when you start to answer, you look to the side and you play with your ear. That shows you're not confident in what you're you're not confident in what you're speaking about. Your response to that situation. Uh, I said it and this this sums it up well. Like you don't you don't entertain the circus, you watch it, right? And when a lion comes out and rides the bike, you don't think about it too hard. You just go, okay, that's crazy. The lion's riding the bike. And then you go home and enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I don't feed into the stuff at all. At the end of the day, it's it's all entertainment. Mm. I mean, you ain't gotta feed into it, you just gotta see if it's true or not. I mean, nothing is wrong with saying, nah, he's, he's lying. I got proof. Let me show you the proof and move on. You know, you can show the proof and move on. To a certain degree. So you just hope that people can be smart enough and have a tremendous amount of logic to just go and possibly do research or fact check. And if they do, then great. If they don't, then two to that as well. Uh, I just don't have the time for it. There's too much going on. So to your point, while... I mean, see, saying that you have not enough time for it while you're saying you don't have time for it, you can literally just go down the timeline. Yo, I did this. I did that. Check out. I did this comedy show. I did this comedy show growing. Like, like you can while you're saying that you don't have time for it while you're explaining, you can use this time telling us that you don't have time for it. You can use this time to tell us, hey, you know, he's wrong. These are the facts. Look it up marketing and promoting a movie uh i think the biggest priority for me is getting my fan base to understand how excited i am about the work that i put into this i don't think there's no bigger promo than you going at well i wouldn't say going at but just proving yourself that's it i think this is the biggest promo i think cat williams threw you a alley -oop. Because that's where my focus is, is getting eyeballs to the thing that took me about four months to shoot and uh, even longer to develop and produce. And so what are you looking at? Something I'm significantly proud of, um, and I owe it to my team at Heartbeat and to my fans to deliver the material um, in mm. the best possible manner. So that's it for me. That's the that's the focus. Anything else outside of those things, uh, they don't really get an inkling of, uh, I guess you say, what's the word? Um, uh, or engagement. Engagement. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So he gave a very good PR response. While he was giving that PR response, he just could have just listed the facts. Hey, Cat Williams is wrong. Uh, this is my come up. I went to this place. I went to this place. You can look it up. Google it. Here are the tickets. Here's the tickets sold. You know, I'm not just, I, I, didn't, I just didn't come from nowhere. I'm not a plant. Now, you can easily rebuttal what Cat Williams is saying by just, you know, just, just telling us, you know, hey, look. Here are the ticket sales when I was coming up. Here's the club that I was working at. Here's the proof. Here's the, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. 
Y'all leave a comment down below. Is two Kevin Hart too big, too popular? Is he too good to respond back to little old Cat Williams? Kevin Hart is in the big league. Cat Williams in the minor league. That's basically what he's saying. He say, I got a movie you don't nan any boo boo. I don't know. Y'all leave a comment down below. But the fact that, you know, he was fidgeting his ear, twinkling, you know, not looking, not having strong direct eye contact, uh, fidgeting, going up and down. Uh, when people normally do that, it means that they're not confident in what they're saying. When people are confident, they're going to look into your eye. They're not going to budge. They're not going to move. They're going to stand firm in, they, in their delivery, just like I'm doing now. Where my money? You owe me $5. I asked you last week for my money. You got my money? Sound believable, huh? Look believable. Actually. It's your boy, Damn D. I'm signing out.